How's everyone doing? Oh, you're right. Cold day back again. Uh, trying to fucking put decent intros at the beginning of these fucking videos these days. Right, listen, guys. Right, as you all know, keep doing these videos and everything. Um, today's video I'm going to do on prisons going non smoking. Um, by the end of the year, all prisons are going to be non smoking prisons. Um, like I say, for those that don't know, I just got out of prison a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, so the thing with non-smoking in prisons, right, it can cause all sorts of problems, right? Obviously, fucking burn in prison, tobacco, burn, fags. People don't really buy fags in prison. You can do, but they only sell them in packs of 16s. I know that sounds mad. You've got packs of 10s and 20s. They only come in 16s in prison. Um, and I think there was 675 for, for 16 fags. Um, like what people do in prison, right? They use burn, burns currency in prison. In prison, we don't deal with money a year, man. I, I dropped a video yesterday um, on like things you can buy in prison and like things what people use as currency and stuff like clothes, burns, spice, drugs, prescription drugs from the medical arch and everything else, right? Now, it's going to lead on to all sorts of problems, right? Right, just because something's banned in prison, i.e. drugs, mobile phones, and now burn, doesn't mean it's not going to stop getting in because it's still going to get in, right? Fucking hell. Anything you can get on the outside of prison, you can get on the inside of prison. It's as simple as that, guys, right? Um, now, the thing is, if, pe if people are talking about banning burn, right, what they're doing at the moment currently, right, within prison, are, like I say, every prison is different. I'm referring to the prison that I was in and my experience, right? I don't smoke, but there was a guy, there was a screw, um, and he, he was like... It was like part of the medical team, right? And he did this non-smoking thing. And what he'd do, he'd go around, right? And the cleaners, right? He'd go around, <clears throat> he went around all the wings, right? And anyone that was giving up smoking as an incentive, they'd say, right, if you stop smoking, we're going to we're gonna give you these um, patches, these, you know, like, they're about £15 a box, right? For these fucking Nicorette patches, right? Proper, like, expensive top of the range ones, right? These non-smoking lozenges, like mint stuff that you suck or something, these patches... And these fucking, like, plastic e-cig things, right? And do you know what? In December alone, yeah, it cost the prison 10 grand, yeah. That's 10 grand of taxpayers' money on our prison alone, yeah, man. And do you know what, right? The joint made me laugh, yeah, they were, like, with a non-smoking thing. The lads are like, yeah, yeah, I'm stopping smoking, boss, yeah, and all this. And then they sat on the bed, yeah, with a fucking, with, with, with some burn, yeah, so with, with a fucking roll-up, right, with a Nicorette patch on. Right, so they've got the non-smoking patch on, or two of them on, the smoking burn anyway, and then as soon as they finish the fag, they have a lozenge jaw. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And you know what all the lads were saying? Yeah, well, listen, before I get out, yeah, I'm gonna stock up on all these boxes of Nicorette, yeah, Nicorette patches, right? And when I get out, I'm gonna sell them because they was going for fifteen, but I think thirteen or fourteen, fifteen pound a box, right? On the canteen to buy, right? What they're trying to do? They're trying to phase it out, right? Because they're trying to make smoking. Like, the banning smoking within prisons and stuff, right? So all it means then, really, in layman's terms, is that burn, tobacco as it's known, but we call it burn in prison. It's a very, very valued commodity. Um, as a cleaner, because I was out all the time, the amount of people that were like, bro, can you do us a favour? Yeah, get us some burn from him, get us a roach and some rizzler from him, getting some strike, strikes like the, on the matchbox, you've got the strike thing. Right, get us some strike, get us a match, get us some burn. Uh, fucking that's all they used to do people shouting from the hatches like pass me this pass me that because they was locked behind the door and i was doing like i was cleaning the ones mopping sweeping moving things changing the bag the bin bags and stuff like that so all the time people were shouting for us to do stuff um depending on who it was and stuff i'd do it willy-nilly do you know what i mean i'd sort the lads out on that because they're locked behind the door they need a smoke they need a smoke don't they but banning smoking in prisons it's gonna fuck a lot of people up right in the sense of when they get tobacco, because people, for those that don't know, people order tobacco on the canteen, right? Like the canteen is like, it's on a kiosk, right? The kiosk is like a job set. It looks like a job center point. It's a computer within a plastic structure. And you can book medical appointments on there. You can book visits on there. You, you, you order your food on there. You fucking, you order your canteen on there. Your canteen, right, is things that you can buy if you've got money. On every week on a Thursday, your money come over to, from your from your private cash to your earnings, right? That means whether you've got money sent in from friends and family, or you're working within the prison, right? Um, yeah, you wait. Our wages used to go on on a Monday afternoon, but then any other money that we had would drop over on a Thursday, right? And then you'd already can't eat on Thursday. It come on Tuesday. Um, 
and then if you ordered it Monday, Tuesday, it come on Friday and vice versa and so on and so on. It always overleaf, right? So yeah, so burn is a big thing in prison. Some people use burn as currency within prison. Uh, people put it on lay. Like in prison, you've got a rule, yeah. Like if you borrow something from someone, it's double. We have a word, we have a saying in prison, double bubble, right? So if you lend a cue off someone, like a quarter of a pack of burn, you've got to give them half ounce back, right? That's just two quarters make up half ounce, right? So you, if you borrow a cue, you've got to give half ounce back. So it's double, yeah, simple as that really. Um, what it's going to lead to though as well with is problems because like I say, people use it as currency and stuff. Just because it's going to be outlawed and it's going to be fucking ban within prisons, right? We can we can sit here and laugh all day, right? It's not going to stop burn getting into prison. It's not stop drugs. It's not stop mobile phones. It's not stop porno, fucking DVDs getting in and everything else, right? Across across all prisons in the UK. Any any lads that have been in prison that are watching this, you'll all know what I'm talking about. Like I say, I do these videos aimed at people that have never been in prison or that might have been in prison and. They, 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 they might have been in prison just once or something and they, they weren't that clued up on what goes on so yeah so like i say um what it's going to lead to though right spice is a big problem within prisons it's massive within prisons big business for spice in prison now say that there's not burn getting in for the first few weeks or something right what it's going to lead to yeah if you think a spice head's going to wait until there's tobacco to make a spliff of spice you're wrong what it's going to lead to, right, is deaths within prison because what prisoners are going to do, if they've got a load of spice there, yeah, they ain't going to wait until they get all the burn. They just smoke it raw if they have to, right? And so that's going to lead on to so smoking spice raw, right, without any burn, going to fuck people up. That's going to it's going to send people fucking west, yeah. Um, and this is the thing I don't understand. Smoking is not illegal in the UK, right? I know smoking indoors is, right, but like people have got like within the cells right every prison is different within forest bank you can't really get near the window that there's like a, a metal grill and then the windows behind that and then you like you, you have to use this metal turn thing and then that opens the window a little bit but you can only you fucking know you get more of a fucking breeze off your fart than you do off the window that's just the truth um but like i say so people can smoke at the window and then people can smoke on a yard. So I don't know why they're banning it because, like I say, it's gonna it's costing the taxpayer money um, because all these nicorette patches across the prisons in the UK, these uh, these fucking lozenges and these e-cig things and everything. You can buy e-cigs on the canteen, right? It's still tobacco, flavoured tobacco, fucking e-cigs, vaping, whatever you want to call it. It's all smoking, really, right? So, like I say, as a non-smoker, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Like, fucking hell, I, I don't smoke personally. But fuck me, like one of the cleaners, well, a lot of the cleaners used to smoke in my cell. Right? And they fucking used to just, you walk past my cell and like fucking disco, you'd have music blurring and you'd have fucking smoke everywhere like a smoke machine. Serious, it was that fucking bad. Um, but like I say, stopping smoking in prison is not really, it's not viable because like I say, all it's going to do is push tobacco underground right now. Like I say, just because something's made illegal in prison doesn't mean it, it's, it doesn't happen. Fuck me, there's more mobile phones and drugs and fucking burn in prison than there are fucking screws, man. Like I say, this whole fuck up with, with the Ministry of Justice making all prisons non-smoking, stupid. Like I say, all it means then is that the prisoners, the prisoners are always one step ahead of the screws, right? It's the, it's the old game of cat and mouse, right? You're in prison, right? The cons have cons tricks and stuff like that, right? The, the screws do what they do and the cons, we do what we do, yeah? And the screws are always chasing us. Like, they're always, like, we're always one step ahead of the screws, yeah? Like I say, they, they, right, once every blue moon, they might spin a cell. For those that don't know, spin a cell means search a cell, right? They might find something, right? But for the one bit that they, for the bit of drugs or whatever they find, yeah, or mobile phones and stuff, there's, there's millions of more within the prison, like hundreds of more within the prison. So, like I say, it's not really, it just means that all it means is that the, the gaps, like, the cons are doing what they're doing and the screws are doing what they're doing. And like I say, it's still a game of cat and mouse. And like I say, we're one step ahead all the way. Um, and it's just going to continue that. But like I say, cut, making, having no burn in prison, right? It's going to cause issues because, right, if you if you smoke in prison, right, if you're a smoker, a heavy smoker, and you're stressed, yeah, what do you do? You turn to burn, right? If you're a spice head, right, and you're stressed, what do you do? You'd have a spliff, don't you? Now, if you've got no burn, right, 
the, the the smokers they're gonna kick off because they, they they're gonna want to smoke right and it's gonna they're gonna they're gonna lose their shit right because like I say it's a coping mechanism isn't it if you're stressed or you're having a bad day you have some burn people that are stressed in prison they speak seem to smoke more <clears throat> when they're stressed and stuff right now a spy said he'll just have a spliff right to chill him out to calm him down to help him sleep right so if there's no burn getting through for the time right there will be burn flooding the wing eventually of course it will but what I'm saying is if, if the screws are coming down on it hard and you can't get all the fucking burn for the for the first few weeks and stuff right kids that are smoking spice they're just going to smoke spice regardless they ain't going to give a fuck and think i've got no burn they'll smoke it raw smoking spice raw is going to cause deaths in prison mark my words trust me now here in fucking april right 217 i'm telling you now right there will be stories about prisoners dying through smoking raw uh, smoking burn uh, spice raw in prisons I hope to God it doesn't come to that because God forbid no one should die in prison. Nobody at all should die in prison. Fucking, but like I say, prisons are like holiday camps these days. You know what I mean, we're, prisoners are running the prisons. There's not enough staff to fucking safely control and maintain the lads. Cat A prisoners are locked up 23, 24 hours a day, no association. Um, one hour exercise if they're lucky. Um, even sometimes prisoners are locked up for more than 24 hours depending on staff shortages and everything else. Um, prisoners are running pri uh, prisoners are running circles around prison prison officers right and like i say there's a lot of decent screws within jail right like i say there's a lot of dickheads as well yeah man but there's some very decent top screws in prison like the old mentality of us versus them it was, right you can get on with a screw and you can be safe with a screw yeah but you still be doing a bit right doing a bit is what we say in prisons like wheeling and dealing like you're getting about you're selling a bit of this you're selling a bit of that you're wheeling and dealing right but you can still be safe with a screw but when it comes down to the nitty gritty, right, you still do what you're doing, right? And the screws, like the screws doing his job, you do your job. You might get on with each other, you might have a laugh, but when it comes down to it, you're a convict, yeah, and that's a prison officer. And like I say, you keep people's, you keep screws sweet, right, to keep them away from your door, and then you go out and you do what you're doing, right? Like I say, burn's big business within prisons. People use burn as currency, people use spice as currency. Like I alluded to yesterday in my video, people buy things with spice, people buy things with burn. You can buy anything in prison with burn. In prison, right, with burn, you can get people filled in, right, for a quarter or half ounce. You can buy stuff, watches, clothes, um, Televisions from other prisoners, fucking music, stereos, um, clothes, fucking, eh, like I say, you can buy anything, mobile phones, you can buy anything um, in prison with burn. And same with spice and same with fucking prescription medication and everything else. So the fact that they're going to come down hard on burn and stuff and try and stop getting in, number one, it's not going it, to, if you think, right, that because someone's been outlawed in prison, it's going to stop getting in, wrong. Mobile phones, drugs, you can get your, if you walk around the wing, yeah, <clears throat> you, you can get more drugs in prison than you can a pharmacy, yeah, man. It's as simple as that. Um, and like I say, burn and everything, it's going to it's gonna cause a lot of people to kick off and lose the rag because if they're stressed and stuff and they want to turn to burn, they're not going to be able to, are they? Sucking on an e-cig, right? And as soon as the e-cig runs out, the, the amount of people smoke in prison, these e-cigs are not going to last two minutes, right? And they're over, things in prison, if you're buying things in prison on the canteen, right, they're overpriced anyway. Um... So, like I say, it's going to cause serious issues and problems within prisons and stuff. I don't know why the Ministry of Justice... Uh, one minute they're trying to stop radicalisation, right? They can't even stop words... They can't even stop mobile phones and drugs getting in, so are they going to stop words and thoughts, right? Then they're trying to stop fucking um, drugs and mobile phones, right? Which they're losing the battle on every fucking day across every prison in the UK, right? And now they're trying to outlaw burn. Fucking hell, what can you, you can't even fart in prison? They're, try, they're trying to make it so you can't fart in prison, right? With, without fucking say so. The fact is, yeah, prisoners run fucking circles around prison officers all day, every day. And out banning burn just means that it's going to push it underground. And that's simple as that. The price of burn is going to go up in prison as well because obviously if it's been outlawed and stuff and you're not allowed to smoke and stuff, it, it, and there's not, right, it's supply and demand, yeah? If you're selling burn on the wing, yeah? So, so say burn's been outlawed in your jail, right? And there's a bit of a drought on, right? There's only bits coming through, right? It's supply and demand, yeah? Now, if you're the only person on the wing selling burn, right? You can sell it for a premium, right? But if there's two or three people selling it and you try and sell it at a premium, people are going to undercut you and people are going to go to them, right? I.e. other prisoners. If other prisoners are selling it cheaper than you, 
the, the other prisoners are going to go to them, aren't they? just makes sense. But again, it's supply and demand. If you're the only person with it on the wing, you can charge a premium, you can charge top dollar for burn. Like I say, just because something's outlawed doesn't mean it's eradicated and it's gone. All it means is it's pushed underground. The, the cons have got to be cleverer and sneakier, right? Which is fine. We do that all day, every day. That's what, that's what we do, right? And the price is going to go up a burn and spice and everything else if something's made illegal like i say it just means that the price goes up and it's supply and demand and if you're the only person with it you can charge more it's as simple as that really guys i don't know what else to say no matter so i'll leave it there guys like comment subscribe all that good stuff i look forward to hearing from you guys thank you very much bye